Greetings humans, Spinning Mantis here with the next episode of my The Long Dark Gameplay Walkthrough. Thanks so much for joining me. I thought I'd just let you all get a look at the cool Aurora loading screen or uh, menu screen that they inserted for the holidays. Very cool. Makes me wonder if they're going to add the uh, Aurora effect somewhere in the game. Uh, they recently updated the game with uh, a new zone, so maybe, I don't know, the Aurora is in the Timberwolf Mountain zone, or this is just special for the holidays, but it'd be cool if they added that into the game somewhere. Anyway, let's uh, jump back into it, into Pleasant Valley. So... <clears throat> In the last episode, we just made it <coughs> into Pleasant Valley. Oh, crap. It's been a couple days since I have <coughs> been able to play the game. Um, so it looks like we had just slept the night, and it's miserable out, and we're going to have to explore around this barn that we crashed down in until the weather gets better, and then we will go out and explore... Good old Pleasant Valley. Um, I'm excited to get out there um, as I've really spent very little time on this map so far in the game. See, I had to crash out the bedroll here last night. Um, a bunch of just junk for the floor. I am way overburdened. I don't want to leave the barn house. Huh. So I wonder where the good place to store my crap in here is. I think maybe there's a workbench upstairs. I cannot remember. So we will crawl along. I know that this is not going to be our main base. There is a much better farmhouse. Um, just a little way to the south of here that we'll, we'll go to. So, maybe I'll just dump some stuff off up here. We haven't looted this building, I don't think. I don't think we uh, popped up here last time. We'll soon see. Yeah, so that's still locked, so we have to get up here. But, for the time being, so we can get over to the other house. Actually, I mean, as long as the weather clears up, we just strike out for that other house. Um, don't know what we want to ditch here. We can ditch. Yeah, like a wooden newspaper and, and cloth downstairs. Or up here. Let's just see what else we got. Jerky is always nice. So this actually, upstairs here, is it's like a terrible base, but I mean, there's no bed, so that'd be interesting if it would allow you to build, I guess there's the bear skin, cure leather, don't often find that as loot, um, the bear skin bedroll, useful. Um, you can build that, but be interesting if from like wood you could build some other sort of bed so we will just go ahead and just collect this area so it'll be looted and maybe not return still sounds really nasty outside hear that wind whipping that is everything up here. Hopefully we get a little uh, speed heading down those stairs. So this map's uh, kind of cool for the uh, variety of its structures, you know. It's the only map with uh, barns and like those kind of outbuildings and then we'll see a farmhouse. I think uh, some of the places have basements on this map, and I think uh, there are some 
prepper caches like uh, bunker hatches out there on this map too. Um, I don't think all the maps have them. I think just Mystery Lake and Pleasant Valley have the prepper caches. So. Yeah, I really didn't... Uh, don't even think I explored down here when I crashed last night. I do want to have all the junk in the same kind of area. Probably put it all in that box right there. So let's get to it. These don't really hold a lot. So let us. I found a bunch of arrows and broken arrows outside. Um, let's leave one hatchet here. Um, keep the pry bar. Keep all that other stuff. Probably take the tools. Mm. Need to drop some weight though. There's a bunch of. Uh, let's just. Get rid of the old dog food. Was there some other? Yeah, let's not mess. We've got we got poison uh, food poisoning before, so let's not mess with like pork and beans under twenty five percent. That just seems like tempting fate. Huh, I'm still really heavily laden. Um, what is it that I'm carrying? It's so darn heavy. It's those toolboxes, I think. Oh yeah, there's a big bunch of stuffs. Yeah, I won't drag all that over to the to the other house. So we know that in the barn we're just gonna have a bunch of wood and scrap stuff. Let's just dump this all off. Fine, fine, fine. What other stuff? The toolboxes, I guess. It's not gonna have enough room though. For that toolbox, no. Will that even fit? Yeah, just fill. It's the shoes that are kind of the pointless things, but they won't fit. No, no, they won't. So we drop the gloves in there. That's fine. And then we we'll could drop, uh, could drop some shoes in here because they are really not something I need. Okay. I do want to create a cache of new food, so, well, still moving at a super crappy pace, I think we could uh, walk over something bumpy and fix that a bit. Just deal with it while we're in here. Just condense everything into one area. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't know. Since I don't really know this zone, I don't want to go outside and get caught in some terrible weather. Yeah, it doesn't even know how many hours of daylight left, which means the weather is terrible. So we're just going to thoroughly check this joint out. Mm-hmm. 
Uh oh. That poor guy. Hey, buddy. Sorry. Sorry you got frozen. Best be prepared for anything. He had a good jacket. Maybe there were holes in his shoes. I guess I could break down some of these clothes into cloth, some of these crappy clothes um, into cloth and just store it here and that way wait out the storm a little bit more. Maybe we shall do that. Did I stow the gloves? Yes, I did. Okay, let's put that out. And let's use our time wisely. So, yeah, in general, I would say um, just try to wait for days when you can't go outside because the weather's so bad to uh, break down a bunch of clothes that you've stored and you know you're not going to need because they're of uh, low quality or. Um, you know, much less than what you have equipped. So I am wearing a premium winter coat, I'm guessing. Yeah, premium winter coat, very nice. And I'm wearing plenty mittens. Still at a hundred percent. Yeah, I just want to see the sun come out and then we can go explore. For right now, it sounds like a bunch of mess out there. Down ski jacket's not as good as the premium winter coat, I guess. Let's we can stow that though. And uh, harvesting takes much less time than repairing. Here, drop all that cloth off. Wow, doesn't all fit. Okay, it's fine. Excellent. But there is going to be more. This is a good place for the wood. Got the coal, the newspaper. Take the wood out. Oh, there's a bunch of crap in here. Yeah, I don't really want to be breaking that down. I mean, seriously, the wood really isn't that heavy. At least that scrap wood. And was there an extra hatchet or whatever? I don't know. So, um... <clears throat> down ski jacket, and then there's this, which is really nice. Um, let's fix this up. Actually, we're going to have to just come right back into the drawer and uh, take out the two, I think, it needs. Um, okay, and then we will go here. Let's fix this up and see what the pea coat... Um, uh, still in the container. Fix this up. 
Yeah, it's gonna take a long time. Hopefully, the sun comes out. Yes, eight hours. Hmm, maybe it's not better than the. Actually, let's have a drink. Eat some food. Let's just finish this up. Sure, let's uh, get into some of these heavier things so that we can efficiently move to the next place. To have quite a bit of food, quite a bit of water already. Okay, we want to finish that pea coat. Hundred percent. So it is slightly worse than the premium winter coat. So no way the down ski jack is anywhere close to that. Alright, let's just stow a bunch of stuff then. We're at 102. Um, let's put that in there. 101. I think that's fine to get to the next episode. Um, let's drop those boots. Let's just make sure there's nothing we want to take with us. We could take that cloth now. <coughs> let's take that cloth. We can go up to like 109 um, and trek over to the other place since we got good weather now. Leave that, leave that. I'm fine with all, leaving all those things. That's everything that's in there. 0.88 pounds for the metal. And then what's in the bottom one? Don't need the cedar. Don't need any of that. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and say, let's take this. That's quite heavy, but we can take it. I think we're good. Let's just go in to search the rest of this place. And then head to our base, which is going to be the farmhouse proper. So, yeah, another pry bar. Yes, yeah, the thing. <laughs> I'm just going to pick up all this stuff before we're even out of the out of the barn. Pretty sure we definitely check that out. Hoods up. up you heard so you know there could be little things like pry bars hiding in there it says leave the barn house can't get out that way I oh, see like I just hit that little bump in the floor and I'm gliding along like, like I'm all ice this is the shelf of cloth thank you shelf of cloth sweet Checked out the whole upstairs. And this one's just his leave barn house. Okay. Now, hopefully, we just want to walk away from the river direction and just go straight south. And we should you know, cross a couple fences and then get to the uh, barn house that the people were living in, or the uh, farmhouse that the people were living in uh, originally, not the barn. Weather's still pretty crappy out there. It feels like 41, but that's because my clothes are awesome. So I think we ran the perimeter here. I think we got all those good, good arrows. Which is really nice to find. I heard they had added that to the game. Uh, an archery target did not know there were going to be bonus free arrows, so good on them. I 
don't know. I just get the feeling that, like, uh, I haven't been in the zone enough to say. I was going to say, like, uh, I feel like maybe there's less wolves on this map, but I guess maybe I don't remember seeing a lot right around the farm areas, but there's a lot. This map is huge. It goes in every di direction. So it came into the map from over there. I'm going to assume this is the south direction that I want to be going in. So there are all these little outbuildings which I'm sure have things hidden in them. Ah, having a controller issue. Give me a second. I have, uh, gosh, I don't know what to call it or what brand they are, but those uh, little sticks on my controller that uh, make the extend the uh, the two sticks um, for playing like Call of Duty and aiming better and stuff. Um, to have them on, you know, just all the time now, I'm really used to them. I like them, so pop one of those off. Set them every once in a while. They're, you know, they're not made super, super sturdy. They degrade, like, you know, if you're playing Call of Duty, like maybe, I don't know, a couple months. Other games that are less intensive uh, probably do a lot less wear and tear on sticks. Yeah, actually, I don't even have one on my. Uh, Right, right stick anymore. It's only on the left stick. So yeah, this environment is like super, super different from all the other ones. As you can see. I think that's north, and up past there is um, the river. On my right is the road, as you can see, with the, the line of fences. And I feel like I'm heading just pretty much due south, or you know, due south as respect to you know, the way I organize this map in my mind. The entrance in the north, and uh, then moving south, the entrance to the south. Mine. So yeah, look at these fields. I've never like explored through these fields before. I don't know if there's stuff out there. There could be, you know, just like a rifle laying out in the middle of that field or something. Five hours of daylight left, so we do have time to explore a little. I suppose it's worth it to kind of peek over there and see what's going on. I think it's just bales of hay, though, and like an outbuilding. Yeah, I'm not that enthused to go and just check out over there. I'm just going to keep heading in the direction that I think the, uh, the big structures are in. That clearly is some sort of a tower up there. Looks more like um, electricity or... It could be one of those towers I've been to before. Yeah, so like, what are these flat things? Oh, okay, so that's what I think I'm seeing in the distance. I think I'm seeing something flat 